He just read the poem. Talk about. Talk about the few hat. That's what we're talking about. Welcome to another edition of Tech Tip Tuesdays. My name is Jared, and we're here at Lethal Performance Headquarters in Wellington, Florida. We're continuing on our fuel system series, and today I'm going to explain to you a thing that we get asked a lot when installing our fuel hat in the 9904 Mustang GT, Mach 1, or Cobra. That is, when installing this fuel hat and our wiring harness, what do you do with the factory wiring? When removing your factory fuel hat from your car, you're not gonna disconnect or unplug or cut any other wires except the wires that are at the factory fuel hat a few inches from that hat. What you're gonna do is clip those wires, let's say about four inches from that factory fuel hat, remove the fuel hat assembly, okay? The wires that are hanging there are the only ones to be used when hooking up this system. What you'll be doing is when you've installed our wire harness and you plug the six pin connector into our fuel hat, you've got two other wires hanging. These wires are gonna to go to the two small wires on that factory wiring that you cut at the fuel hat and this will be for your level sender. Your yellow will go to yellow and your black will go to black. That is it. You do not cut any other wires because if you do that will cause issues possibly with your EVAP system or how the car runs, how it's wired up. So again, we do recommend not cutting any other wires except for the main wires going down to the factory fuel hat a few inches from the hat plug in the connector to the aftermarket fuel hat, and then connect the two small wires for the level sender to the factory wiring. Another thing that we get asked here a lot about our SN95 fuel hat here is actually how do the pumps install? What height do we put them at? How do we prevent them from bottoming out on the fuel tank or starving them from fuel? The answer to that is this. Using the 465 style pump or any other pump from Walbro that actually has that bell bottom piece to it, such as this one, When you install this pump into the fuel hat, you're gonna slide it up on in there. You will have to trim the hose on the other side to fit it. Uh, you're gonna be sliding the pump all the way in here and pushing it all the way up so that the bell bottom of the pump is actually touching the bottom of this basket. No measurement is required at that point for this particular pump on our fuel hat. And that also goes again for all the other Walbro pumps that use that bell bottom. If you're using a Walbro GSS 342 style pump that do not have that bell bottom, you would not need to trim that fuel hose right there. However, you do want to measure with the pre-filter installed on the pump to the bottom of this basket here, you're going to want to measure 1.75 to 1.87 inches. That is the proper measurement, again, from the bottom of the basket to the bottom of the pre-filter. This is going to make it so that the pumps do not bottom out, crush these pre-filters, starve your car from fuel, or put them too high to where you're actually going to be running out of fuel early. And there you have it, guys. That's exactly how we're going to install the fuel pumps to our aftermarket DX SN016 fuel hat. If you do have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call, 561-753-8105. All right, what do you do with the factory wiring? That is the answer to that question. Maybe not. Send any fuel starvation or, yeah. Welcome back to the performance. We were talking about Tech Tip Tuesday here, the fuel system thing. We're going to go on here and talk about how the fuel pump, you know, you're throwing in a fuel hat here. We're going to do here with a flippy burger right in here, okay? A little taco. You're going to slide this right over here. You put it up in there, just like that. You go use a, use a whole camp on it, no problem at all. You put the whole camp in there, but then get that, that ticket in my time main, okay? Once you got that down, you wanna follow up, connect that connector just like that, make the winding go through. The fuel hat's gonna work great. So excellent, wonderful. Thank you for watching us here. Read the performance. No? Yeah. Beat the bad here. We talk about read the performance, fuel system. We got the hat in the house. We can show you how we throw the pump, right in the ticket, out right here like that, okay? Do a ticket out main, right up in there, probably ticket over in the house. We're gonna do that just like that. Dive right up in there. Whoop, yep, little pokey bowl. Good stuff, right over there. Whoop, whoop it up like that. Whoop, just like that. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Is that good? <laughs>